Manchester City won Chelsea nil at Wembley. It was an entertaining, it was an enthralling, it was a, a game to, to feast over in so many ways. There's so much to unpack. Wastefulness, absolute wastefulness from Chelsea. Poor attacking in certain areas and missed opportunities from Chelsea. Still that midfield balance I don't think is right. But Potts did coach a win today. They threw it away, and we're going to delve into why. We also have to look at an absolutely outrageous penalty decision that didn't go their way. So, so many areas of Chelsea, they choked today. Equally, they were robbed of a golden opportunity of a penalty. But City, who are such... They're such a clutch team that even when they play badly, even when they don't deserve a win, because of the sheer quality of player they have, they find a way to get it done. But I want your feelings, I want your thoughts, I want your opinions on this match. It really feels like one that is going to hurt Chelsea fans today. It really, really is, in my opinion. I want your views. I want your opinion. I want your opinions on everything that, that that is going on in this game. Of course, we prioritize our member chats. We prioritize our super chats uh, above and beyond everything else. Um, they were robbed, but they can't finish their dinner. Listen, they were robbed of an opportunity to score a goal from a from the penalty spot. There's no doubt, and they were also exceedingly, exceedingly wasteful. And I want to start off with the players. I want to start off with individuals and. There's no better place to start than with Jackson. Jackson today runs clean through on goal from his own half, cannot be offside, rounds a goalkeeper, could shoot when he's left, doesn't, cuts back on his right, doesn't shoot, tries to square the ball to a teammate and loses the ball. He goes through one-on-one -on -one with one of the weakest efforts into the bottom corner I've seen. Four seconds later, the ball is crossed in. It's a tap-in with your head, put your neck muscles for it, bang, 1-0 Chelsea. And with the way City were playing, the lack of energy they had, the lack of togetherness, the poor passing, the lack of creativity, the game would have been over. Chelsea would have taken over from that point. Nico Jackson was so wasteful. He could not finish his dinner today. And for me, players always deserve a couple of years. And he is still young and development is needed. But he doesn't look like a player that has, that, that has the ability to become clinical. I don't think... Becoming a clinical finisher is ever going to be within the repertoire of Jackson. I think he's got decent skill on the ball. I think he's got a good first touch, decent hold up play. He's excellent when driving at people with the ball at his feet. But you need more than that as a striker. You are judged in your position on goals and creativity. And that element of Jackson's game is very, very, very poor indeed. You then also stay with the attack. And I looked at Madweki today. He came into this game, a lot of Chelsea fans giving me crap yesterday talking about how he's one of the best one-on-one -on -one attackers in the league, one of the best dribblers, dribblers in the league, one of the best take, you know, one of the best at taking players on. I then, again, I was going to break down his statistics from today, he played the majority of the game. No chances created, one cross attempted, no accuracy, uh, zero accuracy on that. Shots on target, none. Shots off target, one. Ground duels attempted, Seven. He did win four of them, to be fair. He attempted three aerial duels and won none of them. He completed, a court, this is here now, according to uh, dribbles attempted, zero. Dribbles success, zero in the game. And for me, when people say things like, he's one of the best one-on-one -on -one attackers in the Premier League, I expect more in an FA Cup semi-final. And it isn't just his take on or lack of dribbling. It's the lack of creativity, the lack of passes, the lack of key passes. He, he, he did nothing today. But Madweki is one of those players who looks good doing very little. That's the cold, hard facts of this. He looks good doing very little because he's got great skill. He passes the eye test. But a really poor showing from him today. I thought Cole Palmer did well. I thought Gallagher out on the left did decent. A lot of people said to me as well, Terry, you've got to speak. You've got to speak about the midfield of Caicedo and Enzo and how bad they were today. And I disagree with that take. 
I really disagree with that take. I disagree. I thought Caicedo had a decent game. I thought he had a decent game today. Enzo, on the other hand, another, in my opinion, absolute calamity. A calamity from this man. 70, 73% pass accuracy for a deep light, a, a deep lying midfielder. So not a number 10 or an attacking midfielder, a box to box or a deep line midfielder. 73% pass accuracy is absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. But when you go back and watch the game, there was one, that one pass that stood out to me inside his own half. Simple ball has to go out wide to the left, kicks it out. There was two or three times that there was nice, easy passes on the inside, kicks it straight to Manchester City players. There was a brilliant counter-attack opportunity. He needs a good first touch, and he's got acres of room to drive into. He has a touch of an elephant. For me, I will keep saying this to Chelsea fans, and it isn't to attack your football club. I, I feel I'm speaking from a place of honesty. There may be ability in these individuals, but their delivery is absolutely poor. Again, when it comes to Enzo, uh, only 50% of his ground duels won today. N uh, no interceptions in the entire game. None whatsoever. No dribbles completed. No chances created. No through balls attempted. Uh, genuinely, when you, when you go through and break down this man's game, it was another horrendous showing. But by the way, not a kid. And I keep saying this about Enzo. With, with Madweki, young. Enzo, sorry, um, Jackson, was he 21, 22? Enzo, I believe, and I want to make sure I get this absolutely right when I open up his, his profile here. 23 years of age. He's not an elder statesman. He has 200-odd career games at, nas at club and national level. He has to be putting in better performances than that. And I feel like all season, all season, he has let Chelsea down. It was another stinker from him because overall, Potts coached the win today. He did. And now some will say that's not enough. And I understand it. He picked the players. That's true. And I think you could criticize him there. But he coached a performance and he nullified City for large parts. He created an abundance of chances. But players either didn't take their chances or they were absolutely limp in their position. Where I would blame Potts today, and I said this on Monday, after Chelsea put in the best performance in three years, Enzo shouldn't come back in. Gallagher and Casado should have been in the middle. Okay. And he should have kept the team that he should have kept that winning team the same. And for me, that was the only mistake Poch made today. He was weak. And he put Enzo back in because he's the big money signing and he's a star name. But the man hasn't performed. And I know there are lots of Chelsea fans out there that want to protect Enzo. I understand it. I get it but he simply isn't right now good enough to be in your midfield. The fact that Gallagher outperforms him is embarrassing. I'm not saying that you shouldn't look to get better than Gallagher in your team, but the fact that Gallagher outperforms him, outworks him, has bigger impacts on games is gargantuan. So between, he, between him, Madueke and Jackson, it was a shocker. It really, really was. But look, Manchester City go through. We're going to get onto them in a minute. I also want to touch on the penalty. We have to touch on the penalty incident. I thought an, I thought an absolute disaster. I thought an absolute disaster from the referee on this one today. And I'll tell you as to why. And we, and we are going to show this in slow motion on the screen. As you can see, the, the free kick is taken. And it's a really poor wall. You can see the wall splits apart here. Jack Grealish's arm the whole time is out to the side. Look, it doesn't move at any point out to the side. The ball is going what looks uh, appears to be on target. As the ball is about to go past Jack Grealish, he very quickly brings his arm down. You can see here, I'll bring it back again. I'll make it a little faster. Brings his arm down on the ball, as you can see. Now, for me, that's a deliberate movement, not to make your body bigger, but to stop the ball from going through. I think it isn't, conscious from the player but sometimes handballs are weird like that in football players do things and you say why did you move your hand towards it sometimes it's instinctual you, 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 your brain just makes you do it and Jack Grealish can see the ball coming underneath him and he brings that arm down should have been a penalty to Chelsea and as wasteful as they were as much as they should be criticised as we did for the opening nine minutes of this video I can't walk away and say that that penalty decision was okay it was an absolute stone 
Waller, in my humble opinion. And the fact that... And this is why I, I felt it was a clear and obvious mistake. Because the referee, the linesman, the fourth official, none of them saw the contact. Because they didn't give a corner. So if they didn't see the contact, and then you're seeing a man's arm outside, then come down on the ball as it goes past, that essentially stops the ball from going through the gap that created in the wall, it has to be a handball. We know there's distance between the two of them because you have to give at least 10 yards, and he can see what he's doing. And this is where VAR for me has is, is, is been so poor this year. Sometimes it's benefited teams, sometimes it's damaged teams. Today it damaged Chelsea, and it benefited Man City. But when you slow it down and you look at it and you think for a minute, you think for a moment, say to yourself, you can see his arms out by the side the whole time. It miraculously comes down just as the ball's going past him. Equally, you, 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 the space is that he can't do that. He's, either way, whether he goes up or down with the arm in that moment, he's making his body, whether you want to call it bigger or not, is irrelevant. He is stopping the ball from going through on goal. We know it's a clear and obvious mistake because the referee hasn't seen any contacts. Otherwise, he would have given a corner. If he thought it was an accidental handball, he would have thought it was a corner. For me, another horrendous decision. And look, some Chelsea fans will say, I don't care about the penalty because we should have taken our other chances, so I don't care. I've got an agenda this season, and my agenda is clear. I'm calling out what I believe to be really poor VAR decisions, and this was one, in my humble opinion. Now, a lot of people will say that Caicedo deserved the second yellow card in the game, so what about that, Terry? And I kind of agree. He didn't have control of the ball. He clears it and follows through on Jack Grealish. The problem that you have is that there is no VAR for second yellows. It's not a red card offense, in my opinion, because there was no lunge. It was a clearance as opposed to challenging for the ball. He's bought body weight, leaving the ground or he's or force going through the player. It was the kick. I believe it should have been a booking potentially. I really do. Because it wasn't like he had possession, moved the ball at his feet and the follow through kicked in. They, they were kind of both going for the ball. But VAR can't check the second yellow cards. So as much as that was a poor on-field decision, the reason that I'm angry at the handball is because VAR should be picking it up. I'm not angry at the referee not seeing it because he's human, but we are meant to have VAR to essentially re-referee these moments. And I thought it was an absolute shocker, a shocker today. I really, really do. Um, <laughs> uh, Terry, you talk, uh, you're talking crap, Terry, you big fraud, your agenda is against City. Well, everybody knows that's not true because when City were robbed earlier on this season against Liverpool, I called it out as an example. So again, you are lying, my friend. You are lying, my friend, just because you, you don't want to face up. That tells me you know it was a penalty as well. You, people, people only throw out ad hominem attacks when they know they're wrong or, or they know that somebody's speaking the truth and they can't debunk it, so they call them names. Remember, anyone who calls anybody names in debates, unless it's between friends and it's banter, they've already lost the fight. They've already lost the argument. We know this. Um... But yes, when I say robbed, again, listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Robbed of a chance of a goal. Yes, they were, without a shadow of a doubt. Absolutely. Stonewall penalty, in my humble opinion. Uh, I've got Patrick and a winter surfer coming on now to join us uh, to give us their thoughts and feelings. I'm going to do the super chats first. Uh, Gav here says, let me just uh, timestamp when the super chats are starting here. He says, a story of our season, really. Missed chances and sloppy goals conceded. I agree, Gav. It, it really is. Jackson's so awful. Palmer created so many chances. Yeah, a lot of people are saying to me today that Palmer ghosted that game. Create, created one of the best opportunities in the match. Two key passes, 100% crossing accuracy. One big chance created in the game. Two shots on target. Uh, most of his ground rules won. Two dribbles attempted, two successful. The statistics... And the eye test said to me that Cole Palmer was one of the most potent and deadly Chelsea players. If Madueke, if Jackson, if Enzo had done as well in their roles as he had done, Chelsea win this game today fairly comfortably. Uh, embarrassing sell Enzo if this is how we want to play, uh, Poch. Uh, once again, what are we training for, uh, for our shooting to improve? Poch out till I die. Sad is what DR says. Thank you, DR. Uh, this game finished me. I mean, and type of quality. I mean, and type of quality. Listen, I understand why it finished you, brother. It would finish me. At, look, listen, 
We've got to play these. My club's in a, not in a worse situation than Chelsea on the pitch we are because we've got no structure to our team. You guys at least had a good structure that in the last few weeks I've really seen come back alive at Chelsea. It's just some of these players, bro. Uh, isn't Michael Oliver paid uh, by the city owners to referee in Saudi Arabia? Should have been still been a corner uh, if it wasn't uh, given as handball. I don't think that necessarily plays a part. I know some people think think that it does, but um, it was definitely a poor decision. I don't think it's corruption, though. I've always said, I don't think City are paying anybody. I don't think City are cheating. I don't think that's the, the, the right way to go with this. Uh, Jackson must go. Terrible. Koch, Poch did well today. Uh, this feels worse than losing 5-0. Uh, I'm so tired, is what Meta says. Uh, Michael Oliver strikes again, unlike Jackson. Lol. <laughs> uh, Poch out. Don't... Don't blame Enzo Caicedo, uh, Jackson. I think you've got to. Uh, young talent is underrated in football. <laughs> uh, Jackson will get a lot of the blame. But for me, here's the reason we played so well. Uh, he had that City defence petrified at times. He did lots of things well today, uh, Edward. And I, I, we've, I've, I've personally praised him for his hold-up play, his approach play. His runs in behind was great. But, you know... As, as I called out Don, obviously Don's a friend, right? And I called Don out yesterday when he said Madawake is one of the best, like, one-on-one -on -one attackers in the league. My answer is no, he isn't. I don't care about how good his dribbling is. He's crossing accuracy and chance creation and or goals at the end of it is be be beyond poor, which means there's no point just being good at taking someone on in football if there's nothing at the end of it. If you're a striker and you're doing all those things that Jackson's doing, but in front of goal, all your creativity is absolutely mid, the rest of it doesn't matter. What Chelsea have to look for is a player that have it all. Otherwise, you're going to continue to find yourself in this situation on a on on a fairly regular basis, my friend. Uh, you are well. You're not a, you're not a Chelsea fan by the looks of that kit, but there we go. Sorry, Terry. I was being sarcastic about Potch out. Fair enough, my friend. Fair enough. Uh, Doku comes on uh, at left wing, and Potch replaces Gusto with one of the slowest centre backs at right back then immediately concedes on that side. That's, that's I understand that. I, I do get where you're coming from there. Listen, I want to say about Doku quickly before the City guys come on. Two games running, he's really made a difference for them. And at least I've said it. I, I know he's young and he's had some ups and down moments this season. He's going to be a star for them. He really is. Once he really finds his feet in England, he's going to be an absolute superstar. Uh, nevertheless, Jackson, mate, you're an ucking bottle job. I, I knew... Uh, we would lose uh, to a decision happened against Liverpool in the final onside that was on the onside that was offside. Apparently, uh, back pockets, we know the whole league knows, is what Nav says. Uh, keep up the good work, Terry. The Football Terrace is one of the most entertaining channels on YouTube. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. And Jackson is a B-Tech Nunez. <laughs> I hear you. Look like time for our, our panel to come out now. Um, we've got uh, Andrews here, Patrick's here, V's with us. Uh, welcome back to the show, gents. Commiserations, Andrew. Uh, congratulations uh, to Patty and V. Uh, but Andrew, I want to switch to you first, bro, because another game where you had the chances, you had the opportunities, but you, you just couldn't finish your dinner. Yeah, so let me just say, um, I don't hear any Chelsea fan blaming my manager today. There was no blame on the manager today whatsoever um for us um we played well and we just didn't take the chances city city were there for the taking today um it's been like that every game we played them this season they've let us have the chances and we haven't taken them there's been it's been a all season uh I, I, that's the story that i've said that to you so many times the last five years that's it we just don't take our chances i mean how many big chances were in this game what four or five something like that maybe maybe a bit less but we just didn't take them. And like you said, if we'd scored that, I don't know if City would have responded. Do you know what I mean? They might have just gone, mm. that's it, do you know? Stuff like that. I mean, we didn't take that. And I don't know what... what obviously, we, everyone's going to say we need a striker. Yeah, that, that's that's great. But these were not like half chances. These were clear-cut. Take you, You've got enough time to make up your mind chances. You know what I mean? These weren't like, mm. oh, I've got to react as soon as possible. These were all... I've got enough time. The ball was coming. I know what to do. I've got to take him. But that's the problem. I, I've said it to you, Jackson. Jackson so reminds me of a Solomon Kalou, where he's just going to frustrate you. He's going to score goals, but he's going to frustrate the hell out of you because he's going to miss easy chances and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, listen, I can't fault any. I thought he set us up right. I thought we played in every area. We played well, apart from the most important part, and that's finishing. 
and you can't say anything more. You can't do anything more. Who he's not going to bring on David Washington to solve our goal scoring problems. So because <laughs> he hasn't he hasn't played him. So yeah, there's not there's not much we can say. City took the chance, we didn't, and that's that's the that's the big headline of the story, and that that's what happens. And we uh, used to be, yeah. we used to do that. We used to be, we used to sometimes not play well. The other opposition didn't take their chances. We took ours. We won one nil. We strolled out of there. So it all this like I don't want to hear anyone going, oh yeah, well we had we had all this stuff like we didn't take our chances, and that's the the, mm. the aim of the game is to win, and we didn't win, so we have no it, complaints about yeah. that. It, it and the penalties, is, I know the penalties, the, the penalties, one thing and everything like that, but we had more than enough ch chances to to get to to not even really talk about the penalty. That's a big turning point for me. We had enough chances anyway. I'm not going to mm. focus on the. No, I, I understand that, and I, I said him, I said him opening monologue. Like, I, I'm talking about the penalty because I'm speaking. I'm yeah, speaking yeah, about yeah. yeah, yeah. VAR I don't want any Chelsea you know. fans to dwell on no, that. And, and, go, and, oh, I said, yeah, and I said that I think most Chelsea fans will say as much as it. I mean, did you think it was a penalty? Do you know what I'm? I, <laughs> You know, I, I heard it on Coventry. I heard them say if he the other way around, if it was going out like if his arm was going out like that, I think they would give that as a penalty. Yeah, they would give it out like that because it was coming in. It's it, well, I, it's interesting because if his I arm, if he, it, the irony is, if his arm was going out in that scenario, it would have gone under his arm and got, the shot would have gone on target. So, <laughs> yeah, look, I, but I understand it. Look, I think it was personally not, a penalty, I, but I, I completely. Still, but I completely concur with you. I, I think I, I understand why Chelsea fans would be more focused on yeah. the missed chances because that's been the story of your season, really. That if you know these chances, I, I know that Jackson's had a lot of stick. I wanted to get your opinion on on the performances from 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 Enzo today as well. Um, what, what did you make of it personally? Well, I was listening to when you said he hadn't created a chance. He actually created the chance for Jackson in the first half. That was him in the through ball. So. He, the stat, I don't know what stat you're reading because he created... yeah well that, that do you know in fairness I'll I will concede that because Jackson didn't shoot so it won't it won't count as a chance created yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's good. Good enough yeah, um, yeah yeah I just um listen I thought listen I thought I thought the midfield did their job again today against uh, Man City if I'm truthful on on uh, if I'm honest with you I thought they did their job I thought Rodri had one of his probably worst games I've seen him play for Man City I thought even Kevin De Bruyne they gave him man a match which I found very strange. They didn't get Kevin De Bruyne the man of the match because he got the assist that came off the goalkeeper, which I found strange. So I thought they did their job. I thought they really did. My surprise with Terry with you is I thought he played Gallagher more in central position, like he has done in the past two league games, and leave like um, Palmer out or on the right or something like that. I, mm. I thought they did. That. I thought they did. I thought they did their job. Yeah, I really did. I thought we nullified. We nullified them again. It's just. We didn't take our chance. That's the big headline for any Chelsea no, fan. That's definitely the big, biggest headline. Uh, Patrick, obviously, um, you've, you've listened to what uh, Andrew said there. What, what did you make of today from a City perspective? I've said it so many times, and I'm so happy. Chelsea are bums. I said it in my other stream, and I said it. I said it that why did we draw to these bums? I don't understand how we drew to these bums twice. Let me say why it's Chelsea are bums. These bums, right? We played on Wednesday, 120 minutes. Players were tired. Andrew, you could see the game yourself. And listen, if you're an honest Chelsea fan, you could see the game. Our players couldn't press. They were pressing in the first minutes. Then they stopped pressing at all. Veta, you saw De Bruyne was pressing at first. Then after 20 minutes, Terry, they couldn't run. The players couldn't run. These guys are bums. I've never seen a, a team full of bums. And you know what? Chelsea fans keep on getting away with it. They keep on saying, oh, we, 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 we don't have enough players. I saw a list today, Terry. I don't know if you saw it. It was posted by the official FA Cup page of the of the players that are in the FA Cup list. Chelsea's list was this low. You could have to go to the next page. Yet, City was just like, like this. These guys are bums. You know what? I am so happy. Telly, if you look at my preview, I said, oh, this is a hit and miss. I said, oh, we're, we're going to be lucky if we get out of this. I have never seen a bunch of bums on, on site. Jackson, you're full <laughs> through on goal. Score. This guy decides to dribble and wait for other people. Uh, hmm. This Copama, Copama, that's what we've been hearing. Copama, Copama, Copama. What did he do? What did he do? I'm telling you, Terry. He had a chance and he set up. He set up. I'm I telling you, Terry. 
I'm sorry, I can't have the word bums when we do I know I'm you are say bums this, though. You are bums. We have no, you're not, admit listen, bums. You're trying to go fine, but we have nullified you in nearly every game of oh, who's, who's going to the final? Who's going to the final? Yeah, that's who's, fine. Who's, who's, and I take that. But for you to say we're bums is complete and not a horse. You shit. are bums. Okay. You should have taken advantage of City. They're tired. You're right. Well, we're not bums like that. We don't. We dominate. I think, I think we you are. I think I, what dominate? What did you watch the game? What did you dominate? Yeah, I did. We you dominated in certain parts of that game. You didn't. No, you, no, 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 no. Let, let, let me tell you something. Let's let's speak football here. I wish Terry, you would. I, but you haven't Terry, done it. Terry, so Terry, 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 I was so scared. Come on, I was so scared. I, w- I was so scared of this Chelsea side. I was like, oh, these guys have rested. They've had so much time to rest. Mm. City were tired after 20 minutes. Let's not lie. If you watch the game, yeah. even Staffy will agree with me. City were tired. De Bruyne was trying to, to press in the first minutes. I was like, oh my God, where are you getting the energy? But they got tired. Chelsea mm. couldn't take advantage. And you know what? I said it. I said it months ago when I came here. And that fraud Dawn was here with me. I said, I am embarrassed to draw with Chelsea twice. I said, I'm embarrassed. You're, you're because look at, then, look at Jackson. How can you're you put Jackson as your striker? You, you, I would you, take you, Ramos you, from you. United. I'm telling you, Andrew, if I was a Chelsea fan, and big up to you, I respect you for coming on on the football terrace. But the rest of them are hiding. You know why they're hiding? Because they know your team are bums. Oh, that's that's I a good point. Most I most of the game, actually. I I'm most telling you. You know what? You know what? For you, for you to allow City to do what they did to you today, and City I, were not perfect. City were below that. par. But you guys, I'm telling you, it's embarrassing for the money you've spent. And you know what makes me laugh? You guys get away with it. Because if that was United with a list of players like this, T- telling you, Terry and Stuffy, people mm. will go after you. Did you see that list? Oh, Terry, st- please tell me so that list. Hang on, hang on. Can, we stop, can, we stop, can we stop that? We're talked about every day about this. Can we stop this like narrative that we're not talked about or dunked on or we're criticized? Nobody we're talks about, about you, though, though. Nobody so talks about let's you. Not, let's not start narrative. I've said this to you on the thing. I've said this to you. Jackson's not my, J- Jackson's not a number nine for me. And that's where we that's where we didn't do any, do it in the summer. And now it's come back to bite us in a big game like this and, and several other games. We are huge for missing big chances. I think we're top for missing big chances this season. And you could because tell. Because you're bums. Because you're bums. No. Okay, we're bums. Okay, That's we're what bums do. Bums miss. Let me just jump in for a minute. Let me, throw, let me throw this to an, a kind of neutral to this in staff. I'm going to come to you in a minute, V. <laughs> Patrick is, is making the claims that, that Chelsea should, like, they're embarrassed that they're drawn to them. Chelsea were bums today. They should have taken advantage. Do you think that's a fair breakdown from Patrick? Well, Patrick is Patrick. Listen, we all know Patrick. He's a wind-up merchant. Look, he's laughing because he knows what he does, and he said he takes pride in that. So Patrick is trying to wind up Surfer, and I think he... he I know, because he's, he's wearing shades today. He doesn't usually wear shades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen. Th- yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, just, we, we just know Patrick. But listen, Patrick does have a point, but he's he's just overdoing it. Our Chelsea bums, I mean, listen, when you look at the game and you look at the chances missed and the chances that they've created, if you miss those chances, you, you do have to get called a bum. I wouldn't call the whole team bums. But Jackson, as an example, he is a bum. We just have to admit yeah, he's a bum he's, for missing these yeah, chances. He's a bum, he's a bum like, today. You much. know what's crazy? I didn't even check the XG for this game. So if, I know, Terry, usually you have a few websites open. If you could confirm to me the Chelsea XG today, um, that would be helpful in, in the argument that, that I'm trying to make. The, the craziest thing is that Jackson one-on-one chance with the goalkeeper, you know that accumulated to 0.00 XG? It didn't count as anything because he never attempted to shoot on target. He actually oh, made when he, when he made the yeah yeah the, the first one not the the header yeah when he yeah. actually uh, tried to go past the keeper took it to his left and just closed the angle for himself that accumulated zero point zero zero xg this is why sometimes the stats can be it's deceiving because all of us could look at it and we were like yeah if one of my players is one on one I'm expecting this to be a goal like you're most likely to score than that but that's the point that mm. I'm trying to make for someone to take a one on one chance. Like that, and to end up with a 0.00 xg just shows you how bad he is. He is a bum. He yeah. cost them the game, in my opinion. He was horrible today. But at the so same just, time, just Patrick, to give you the xg, just to give you the xg, Chelsea's x, sorry, City's xg was 0.86. Chelsea's xg for the game was 1.29. There you go. Well, I think we all thought it would be more. And here's the thing: Chelsea did have the more more of the chances today. They had more shots on target than them. But when you look at it, Patrick, I know you're talking about the list and how long the list is. To be honest, Patrick, I'd rather have like one Lamborghini than 10 like Fiat's in my garage. Like the quality quality versus quantity doesn't do anything to me. That long list for Chelsea. 
no, no, but, we're, we're, but, but Patrick, we're not talking about whose fault. Obviously, we all know it's Chelsea's fault for signing a lot of players that are not good enough. And today it, it was showed. A school outing. Like, what did you expect, guys? It was a school we, outing. You know what I mean? <laughs> we we <laughs> saw today. We saw that the, the the severe lack of quality, and it's not just Jackson. Caicedo, when he had that chance in the second half to cross the ball, oh. I forgot who was on the other end of it, and the ball uh, kind of like rolled under him, and then instead of adjusting his body, he just forced the cross completely overhit it. Mudrik, last minute of the game, had a chance to cross it. Speak on it. Hundred and twenty million. No, no, no. It's fine. Patrick, I, I agree with you because I've been preaching about this all season, but I'm just like bringing out the moments that showed a severe lack of quality. Mudrik on that set piece in the last minute of the game overhit everyone. Yeah, you I need don't someone. Know why, I don't even know why he's taking it. I don't even know why is, he's you, you, know what, uh, you know what, Surfer? When I see things like this, I go back to old school players that people used to call spammers or whatever. Like I, we all know, um, what's his name? Have hope used to make fun of Beckham or whatever. Beckham was the best one at spamming the ball in the box, and eventually someone yeah. would get on the end of it. Wouldn't you love yeah. to have someone in this Chelsea team who could just be a Beckham and put a decent cross in the box, and maybe someone will get on the end of it? Yeah, I mean, Same I thing as Joe. Joe will driving down that left hand or... side. Yeah. He's your captain yeah. wearing the captain's uh, captain's armband, and he takes like He's a few extra well. dribbles. He didn't cross it. He didn't pass it. And he doesn't turning. cross. It. And he had all he day to do it. Turning. He had about like five seconds to cross the ball early and he chose he to go as close as possible to the byline. And then you see Sterling yeah. on the other side screaming and yelling. He's like, why didn't you cross that time? These are things that show the, the, the lack of quality in this team. These are individual moments. I understand people want to blame Potch all the time. Uh, I'm still hearing bad. people blaming Potch today, saying he should have subbed off Gallagher early, this, this and that. Uh, that yeah, can't yeah. be your main argument. Because I was talking to a bunch of Chelsea fans. Someone said, if you made early chances, we probably would have created more chances. But, bro, you're yeah. not talking about the chances that you didn't convert. So exactly. let's not sit here and act like you guys didn't create more chances than mm. City. Because City today, listen, Enough I'm not even trying to this City. We all Enough know time. why City weren't good today. They played 120 minutes versus Speak Real Madrid. The it. players were knackered. I'm, I'm just being honest here, and I think even Vader and Patrick will admit this. This wasn't the best image you'll see of City for obvious reasons. No. We know how City play. If you go against City and they keep today, they kept about 60 something percent possession, but it's not the same position that they usually do. Usually they keep possession, but they pin you in your box and you can't yeah. breathe. And you rarely get chances to hit them on the break. Today was different. You guys were passing the ball around, but there's, there was no intensity. There was no like uh, uh, there was no urgency to create chances. And rightfully so, because yeah. you guys are tired. Yeah. Like, I get it. You guys are tired. And this was probably the best chance for anyone who hasn't played football for what? So for you guys didn't play since Monday, I think. So you had about yeah. five days rest. This was yeah. the best day for you guys or Back. anyone to catch City off. And you did it. And to not put it on the, the players versus the manager is insane oh, to not. me. Because any, the any players 100%. I like this, Daffy. I like this, Daffy. Accountability on the players. Stuff yeah, is cooking. These are bums. No, no, just no, say no, the word, bro. bums. No, 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 I'll leave oh, that my. to you. You're the wind up merchant. <laughs> all I'm my. saying is, all I'm saying is, Chelsea fans, I understand if you don't like Poch, but really, 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 if you do care for your club and you do care for your team and you want to be better next year, you really need to admit that you guys, unfortunately, need to go address the market again more than possibly most of us big six teams because you guys spent the most in the last two years. But when you have players that can't put the ball in the back of the net, can't make a simple pass or a simple cross, then you really, really have a big yeah, issue. And, and, no, I, I agree. And we spoke about what, one of those players the other day in, in Madwaki and I know we had a bit of a laugh at Don's expense. But today was a prime example of that. You're not one of the best one-on-one -on -one attackers in the league when you don't create, you don't score. You might beat some people in dribbles, but if there's nothing at the end of it, it's absolutely, it's a point that, again, those kind of stats are pointless because what's it led to? It's nothing. And I do agree with you. Look, I, I'm not I'm not dunking on City because they won the game and they're the best team in the world still, in my opinion. But Chelsea were really good today. Some of that was down to the tiredness and the the... You could see it in the le it looked very leggy today, uh, City. They also didn't have Haaland available. I know he's been in bad form, but he's still dangerous when it comes to these games. And there's probably, listen, even as bad as Man United are, I'd have loved to have played City at this level today. Like, this is. You, That's what I'm most most clubs are not, not going to get hook. a better chance to beat City than, than you would have done today. Yeah. We let them off the hook. We severely left them off. And if we're talking about it, I should be sitting here in an alternative world going, we beat them 2-3-0. That's what I should be sitting here doing because that's what I really think. But that's the yeah. problem. 
That's the problem. Simple they, they, Simple they, with bad finishing see. and shithousery have worked today. And that's that's sick. Yes, and see, you're bummed. You're bummed, Ziffer. You're bummed. Just see. Is, is, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pat, you Patrick, True City fan. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready to call Chelsea bums. I mean, to their standards, ninth in the standings, I think they're all thinking that this is a bummy season. I think oh, yeah. the way they the yeah, look, the man today, says I don't call them bums and says bummy season. Go ahead. No, but they're having yeah, a bummy season. I'm not. I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to brand them as bums. Yeah. But for them being ninth, it's poor, right? And this game in particular, no, we we were we were prime for the taking. We just played Real Madrid, and you know how exhausted that game was. So if you're going to catch us, it was going to be this game. Staffy and Terry, I mean, they're they're partially neutrals, but they know that they would have loved to have seen Chelsea win this game. Right. Yes, they, of course. You know yeah. that they would have they would have preferred to see Chelsea in the final than than City. So, the game and how it's broken down, man. I, I'll take I'll take any result. I'll I'll take any result with that eleven with that performance that we had to put in on Wednesday. And the the players in particular, I'm happy with how they fought for this win. I'm happy how they fought continuously to try and get this result. Now, had we gone down a goal early, to like Terry pointed out, had, had that been a pen, maybe it's a different story. But when you're able to get to these many semifinals when you've been able to get this successful maybe that comes with the territory some of these calls go our way terry and staff you're probably very familiar with calls that may be questionable but in a favorable way going for united so we'll take this and we'll run we play next against brighton we'll see what happens i, I hear do you know what's interesting i was thinking about this during the game today and i want to throw this at the city fans you're definitely the favorites to win the league from this point but so many City fans, some I know like to have a laugh online. Some I know that don't even really use Twitter and stuff, and I speak to them. When I saw how leggy you were today, it stands to reason why City fans are not right in the league title race off just yet. Because if you're if you're away, I'm, I'm not saying you won't recover and, and, and play better this season. Mm -hmm. But if Liverpool and Arsenal win both their games before you guys play, and you guys are still, I mean, it's only a few days until you play, if you guys yeah. are feeling leggy again, you you could lose matches playing like you were today. And, and yeah. I just wanted to throw that at you as City fans. Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll say this. Brighton's going to be a tough game because Brighton's away. That's going to be a tough game. But I actually think the game three days later versus Nottingham Forest is the tough one because we're going to have to – we're playing away again to Forest three days later. I think that's a tough one in terms of schedule, legginess, not having the lungs, not being ready to play. So yeah, I, I would I'd be the first to tell you other clubs like like City, like Liverpool, like Arsenal, there's drop points out there. And I don't think that City go through the remaining games um, with with without a drop point, whether it's a draw or a loss. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. But this is the beauty of the league. We're going to have to earn. It, for us to get this, those of you Listening and not watching, I'm holding up four fingers. To get this, it's going to be a fight. I, I think you're undermining us, though, um, Veta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hmm. deny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against you because, listen, the only game I said is a free hit. I tweeted this. I don't know if you guys saw this. I said today is a free hit because I knew we were tired after 120 minutes. Veta, I highly doubt it. I think City are not going to lose a game. I think they will draw a game. But I think with the six finals left, especially after we are out of the Champions League and these six games left, because look, I know that uh, right now Arsenal fans are like, oh, look at uh, look at Wolves, look at Wolves. They've got seven injuries left. But when these games are left to six, I have seen City play with teams where the injuries are like seven and we still draw. Uh, Arsenal are beating Wolves. No, no, no. no. Okay, all, 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 I'm, all, I'm, all I'm saying yeah. is, all I'm saying, Terry, is I, I genuinely believe the fact that we're out of the Champions League and all we have is this Premier League. Yes, I know we have the FA Cup, but the Premier League is our main thing. And for mm. the fact that we might do a four-peat, I think City will be will be good in this. And I know so, that we no, you will be good. I, don't, I think yeah. you might have misheard. I, I, I think you're the favourites to win. I do think you'll be good. But I agree with you, what you've just said, Patrick. I, I think you may drop points still. The idea that this race is a foregone conclusion... No, I just no. don't think it is. City are just the favourites from yeah, this point. Yeah, but you hear, you hear that from Liverpool fans because they still suffer from PTSD. So once they drop points, they're like, this league's over. We're done. We're out of it. So I, I I agree with you. I think there's more drop points to happen from City standpoint. But you listen to Arsenal. I mean, yeah. sorry, Liverpool fans are like, no, nah, it's over. No, no I agree, I, I agree with you. But they're doing it because if they do drop points in three or four of the last six games... Instead of criticizing it, they want to throw in the excuse of, oh, yeah, but we were already on the beach because yeah, he threw in the yeah, towel. It's, it's mm -hmm. copium. It's absolute nonsense. They're all sitting there 
looking at City in these last couple of games, they do look a little tired, you know, and susceptible, and maybe in these hard Premier League away games, it's going to be tough. I want to go to some of these super chats here. First one says, um, 100 million plus, you all witnessed the worst midfield ever to grace um, English football. It's worse than ba uh, Bakayoko or Fred. Enzo is a terrible player to watch. Oh, my God. That's you, surfer. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not touching that, surfer. That's you. Or I, do think, I, I do think he was poor, though, surfer. I he do. He wasn't poor I do. today, Terry. This is, this is so was. wrong. He wasn't poor today whatsoever. He wasn't. I, I just, okay. I'll, 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 he doesn't do enough for me, then. I'm going can to use just, a Don line. We, Terry, can we just accept the fact that strikers and players that are top class? Because I think Enzo goes to another team like City or somewhere else. I think he looks top class. Let's just accept the fact that whenever th there's this DNA, the same thing I want also Arsenal fans to, to, to accept where they're bottlers and the new jersey also looks like a bottle, which is funny. I saw that. It was good. But oh, Chelsea, yeah. you guys have to accept when players come to Chelsea, you told us, oh, German players flop here. No, it's only at Chelsea. I think Enzo goes to City. He looks better. I think at Chelsea, Enzo looks like a bum. I, I, I can he understand does. Let's that. Let's be honest. I, 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 Let's I be would honest. accept that. One thing I haven't said is that he's, he's bad on ability. I just watch him play for Chelsea and, and I see like him. Say the words. I, see it. No, I, I, I wouldn't. I don't. I wouldn't use Why the word bum. With the word bum, by the way. I just. <laughs> I just. See, I just see him as Arsenal should score here. Oh, Saka fucked it up. Oh, well, they started. Ooh. Wait, Arsenal are playing. Yeah. yeah. I didn't um, even know that. It's, it's, one of the, it's one of those things for me where I watch him and the word I would use to describe him when I watch him is beige. Enzo is just beige. I don't go, oh, wow. There's, 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 there's not enough moments for me, but but that's just it. No, I um, agree, Terry. I agree. He can be, like the rest, he can be better. I just thought today he wasn't like what you're saying. Yeah. I thought he was good today. That's all. I like suppose I'm just looking at him. He is your main midfielder, and I suppose... Rodri, Rice, Casemiro, the main midfielders at everyone's clubs like face big criticism. The one thing about him that I would say as well about, about Enzo is there is this sort of, he's not old, but he's 23 and played 200 games. He's not a baby either. Like yeah, yeah, when Dom the other day was comparing yeah. him, but what about Manu? Manu's 18 and like got 20, 24 <laughs> games. And like, Manu's better. Manu's better. Manu can't is compare, better. Like that thing. Manu's this is this, uh, Staffy forgetting there's been about 10 injuries all season. I think yeah. you're forgetting how good some of those players are. Huge upgrades all over. I'm not so okay. funny because I, I, it, it, no, look at Surfer's that. reaction. I'm not having that. I'm not That's having the Chelsea fan. An injury, by the way. Doesn't, an injury yeah. doesn't stop Jackson scoring a header from two yards out. He doesn't you know, stop. Surfer, what do the injuries have to do with anything that I said in my earlier argument? How, I didn't talk about the season, I talked about the 90 minutes. What does exactly. the injuries early in the season have to do with exactly. today? I mean, sir, that every single club, apart from Arsenal, every single club here has suffered from injuries. We can't use that as an excuse. Have, you know, I have one center back going into the game tomorrow. Exactly. And I won't use that as an excuse. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I actually won't use it as an excuse. Yeah. It, it, Terry it, knows it, me. I rarely talk about this. Yeah, it's Terry, crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Today, no, that's because it's Terry, coming true, though. That's because it's coming true. If we'd won today, would you have heard the injury excuse today? No, exactly. You should have won today. And that's just it. And I agree. <laughs> Uh, come on, bro. This City fan is being weird. Chelsea aren't bums. You City sh uh, should have lost. Chelsea should have won. You can't blame anyone, uh, not even Potts. Jackson needs to visit a shrine. Uh, his village people are working against him. I, uh, that's a bit rude, bruv, isn't it? Jesus I'm Christ. Not, um, not. No, <laughs> but I, I think, again, <laughs> Patrick's point with regards to Chelsea being bums, I think is a little over top. But Arsenal fans, you're welcome. Arsenal fans, you're welcome because I know you would have lost your minds with Chelsea having a chance at winning a trophy and the disaster season that you're about to have <laughs> not winning one. So yeah. you're welcome. Uh, this is Patrick uh, is right. Nobody talks about us. You are a nobody, Patrick. Congrats <laughs> on your win. That's actually quite clever from T, you know. That's quite a good response. I like that. Um, I'm an Arsenal fan and can say that Chelsea got effing robbed. What the hell was that? No. No, no, what of a penalty? No, no, no doubt about it for me. But I, I, I hear, I hear. I, I like the fact that Chelsea fans also taking accountability. That's good. Uh, disingenuous to write off uh, the players as bums, considering how young they are against apparently the best team in the world. You know, can I say something on that? This guy said apparently. Why, 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 why do Chelsea fans keep on saying young, 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 young? There's young players at uh, Arsenal who are playing better than you. I'm telling you, stop this excuse, Chelsea fans. Simple. The more you accept that your teams are bums. That team is full of bums. It's going to be better for you. I'm, I'm just saying, Terry. Because look at... <laughs> I'm telling you, Terry. I'm saying this one more time. If that was Man United against Man City and the list was like this, and City's list was this small, 
people will go after United, but it's Chelsea, you get an excuse because it's Chelsea. But you guys have spent so much. Because for a minute there, you actually have got a more expensive midfield than City. And that never happens most of the times. Let's talk about Caicedo's price. Let's talk about Enzo's price. And the way they're performing. Yet we've got Menu at United, who's an academy player. We've got, we've got what's, what's his name, that Scottish guy who keeps scoring for United? McTominay. Uh, McTominay. McTominay looks better than Enzo. And mm. you and McTominay is not that expensive. I think the last time is from the from the academy. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling yeah, you, yeah. Chelsea gets an excuse for being yeah, a is the best KDB this season, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know. But that's listen, next no, I, level I, I, shamelessness. That's next uh, level. Uh, the only bum in this room here is talking awful. Sorry, the only bum in the room here talking an awful lot about bums. Crash, you're a weird fella. Uh, there's weird eating grass i don't know what that means that's been quite funny mm. yeah no, but thank I you steve know. i don't get the last bit but i get you like a oh, arsenal might concede here oh the post moves at the post oh yeah, right. um i'm not potch out but that was wasn't on him i am potch out but that wasn't on him today jackson is an effing clown and patrick is embarrassing himself as usual <laughs> 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 I don't think that he cares. Look, I want to thank. Oh, I've got another super chat here. Uh, Terry, my comment uh, of the shrine wasn't rude. It's a joke in Africa. That's if uh, things aren't going well for you, that your village people is. I want to just say this, but maybe I want to offend people. I, I, I think that's fine. I don't know. Uh, is that where you're from yourself, bro? Because that's one of them jokes that I think is only acceptable if it's somebody that. It mm. has like a heritage so he connection. To tread carefully on super and I chats. don't know whether you yeah, do. Or like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know how the yeah. world works. It's like not that. Terry's place to say these jokes. That's why yeah, he has to be careful yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. Like, like, we I can't see what you are, Daniel. If you're from the same place Patrick's from, that's yeah, acceptable. I yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm from Africa. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it on behalf of Let's Terry. Let's just say Terry it. hasn't got a face. 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 Terry hasn't got a 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 face. That's the space I'm kind of in. versions of them. That's what you could tell. <laughs> that's it. No, I want to thank everybody that has tuned into the you show today. Uh, it means yeah. oh, I had another one here. Sorry, it's coming yeah. in. Sans. City's midfield tired. Chelsea strikers misfiring. How about Enzo scoring? He won't because he is a bum. Uh, thank won't you. even get into thank Crystal you. Palace midfield. Bum. In you see, you see Terry. It's called up. Hashtag bum. It's going to go bum FC. I like that's the burner accounts oh, working, Patrick. Patrick. Your burner accounts Patrick, working, Patrick. Patrick, Patrick has like got that. bums on the mind tonight. What is going on, bruv? He's go. got bums on his <laughs> mind. <laughs> Look, I want to thank everyone who's tuned in. We're live after Arsenal versus Wolves, so make sure you're back with us here on the terrace. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. Congratulations to Manchester City. Commiserations, Chelsea.